$3.9 million. That's how many dollars over budget the city of Albuquerque was in overtime paid to police. It's a massive increase compared to past years, and the police union says it can be blamed squarely on the officer shortage. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with that story. Madeline? Yeah, well, Dean, the findings were published in this 16-page internal audit. The union president took one look at it and told us this perfectly outlines the dire need for more officers in Albuquerque. We've all heard the numbers. We should have 1,200 to 1,300 cops in this community. We have 840. Now, an internal audit backs up just how bad and costly the Albuquerque police shortage is. At least, that's what police union president Sean Willoughby says. The report was released days ago, sparked by a, quote, anonymous call made to the city's internal audit office. It details a few things. How far over budget the department was for OT for fiscal year 2016. Nearly $13 million in total when the actual budget for OT was $9 million. Management feels it's cheaper to pay people overtime than it is to actually staff an entire entity. The audit also outlines problems with officers following the rules to get OT pre-approved, estimating 38,000 unauthorized cases of OT that year. But Willoughby says with a switch from paper to computer time clocking, there's going to be issues APD can work on. At the end of the day, the real answer to the problem is, let's just fully staff this police department, pay officers a competitive salary, and get this problem fixed. Rob Perry, chief administrative officer for the city, however, attributes the spike to something else and believes it will decrease going forward. The vast majority of the overtime is related to a lot of the DOJ re requirement training uh, on use of force policies and changes there too, on uh, CIT, crisis intervention training, Anybody that says it's not related to manpower is lying. Perry guesses only $900,000 of the $13 million spent last year in overtime was to cover staffing shortages. APD tells us its goal for this year is to graduate 100 cadets. Dean, back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. The audit also says APD needs to be watching for patterns in overtime to make sure no one is cheating the system. Police gave auditors a written response to each issue outlined in that audit and have promised to correct all of those problems by July.